What's get up? This is Linux Dex. OpenSUSE and Ubuntu are one of the top Linux distributions, which are not only loved by their respective communities but also have huge companies backing them. When I say huge, I mean billions of dollars huge. Except for the fact that Ubuntu and OpenSUSE are based on Linux, there isn't much of a similarity between them. They are very different from each other right from the principles guiding them. So which among them is the best? Which among them is more suitable for you, Ubuntu or OpenSUSE? Let's find out. So today, I will be comparing Ubuntu 18.04 and OpenSUSE Leap 15 side by side and in depth. And as you know, I'll keep it short and on point. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of my Linux videos. Jumping in, let's begin with the user interface. OpenSUSE provides you GNOME Desktop and KDE to choose from. In this video, we will be using OpenSUSE with GNOME Desktop. GNOME 3.2 comes in its purest form with OpenSUSE. The first impression is pretty good. The interface is clean and polished. Although there are zero customizations applied, the desktop is just good to look at. Everything is pretty standard. But again, the missing minimize and maximize buttons are pretty counterproductive. Although you can enable them from the tweak tool, why not just keep them enabled by default? Everybody will use them anyway. There are no pre-installed wallpapers or additional themes, but the desktop overall looks beautiful out of the box. Talking about Ubuntu 18.04, Ubuntu has a heavily customized GNOME desktop. The GNOME desktop is customized to look like the traditional Unity desktop of Ubuntu. The theming is gorgeous and a wide range of amazing wallpapers are included by default. Ubuntu's desktop has a ton of extensions already added and customized so that the users can get on with their work immediately. Some like the customization, but for some it can be a turn off. Now the choice of user interface is a subjective one and depends on the user. Although I prefer stock GNOME, Ubuntu's customized GNOME is pretty impressive too. So in the interface department, I'll give a point each for both the distros. Next, we will be having a look at the performance of the two operating systems. OpenSUSE can be slightly better than Ubuntu on a fresh install. Let me clarify. Before I installed the proprietary drivers for my NVIDIA graphics card, OpenSUSE was showing visible performance boost over Ubuntu. This can be credited to the fact that OpenSUSE has always been optimized for performance. This was more of a better responsiveness than actual performance boost on larger tasks. But once I installed NVIDIA graphics drivers, this performance boost of OpenSUSE vanished and both the distros showed almost similar performance. But since not everybody has the same NVIDIA card as me, the performance point goes to OpenSUSE. Ubuntu is a really solid operating system with a trust that it has built over a decade. Ubuntu is the choice of professionals. It is deployed on servers which cannot afford a downtime of even a couple of seconds. And as for the desktops, I use Ubuntu for all my development work and I must say, Ubuntu has been dependable and reliable 100% of times. A long-term support version of Ubuntu has a lifetime of 5 years, which is generally more than enough. OpenSUSE Leap on the other hand has a lifetime of 3 years, which is still great. The operating system is highly reliable, since it is a long-term support version too, it can be trusted blindly and it won't let you down. Recently, after updating my Ubuntu setup, I was left with a computer that failed to boot up because of some conflicts between the drivers and the Linux kernel. The same issue was reported by multiple Ubuntu users. This is not acceptable on a big Linux distro like Ubuntu. On OpenSUSE Leap, updates are pushed to the users only after they come through OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, which is the rolling version of OpenSUSE. So these kinds of update issues are almost impossible to happen on OpenSUSE. Out of all the Linux distributions, Ubuntu has the highest support from software vendors. Almost any software created for Linux will be available for installation on Ubuntu in a convenient, quick and a trustworthy way. This advantage of Ubuntu cannot be stressed enough. OpenSUSE 2 provides a good software availability. Its repositories are huge and contain almost anything you might need. And software.opensusa.org allows you to search and install software with just one click. Now this software portal has many more packages than the official repositories but to trust them or not is up to you. Still, Ubuntu has much better software availability. And trust me when I say this, you want all the software support you can get if you want to use Linux. So this is a big point for Ubuntu. 
Now if you are into gaming, I suggest that you pick Ubuntu. The reason for this is, Ubuntu is officially supported by Steam and Steam games are particularly tested for stability and performance on Ubuntu. I personally had issues installing Steam and Steam games on OpenSUSE. There is a huge reason I am against picking OpenSUSE for gaming which I will discuss in the next section. For now, Ubuntu wins the gaming round. Ubuntu has a simple and straightforward installation. Even the most complex operations are represented in an easy to understand and beginner friendly way. You can install Ubuntu in under 15 minutes. And if you need any help installing Ubuntu, the link to the step by step guide video is given in the description of this video. OpenSUSE 2 has a simple installation process, but I did feel that some things could be simplified to help newcomers. No complaints though. Once the installation is done, installing the drivers for your graphics card or other drivers is really simple on Ubuntu. A few clicks here and there and Ubuntu installs the optimal drivers for your hardware automatically. OpenSUSE on the other hand is a nightmare when you need to install proprietary drivers for your Nvidia cards. The official wiki provides very confusing and multiple guides and even after I followed them I ended up with a broken computer. It can be a horrific experience. Now I do know that OpenSUSE has a strict policy regarding the use of proprietary packages. But if you cannot install proprietary NVIDIA drivers, you definitely cannot get the most out of your graphics card. This includes both a polished user experience and gaming. Ubuntu has one of the best documentation and any issue you might face is easily solved by following the beginner friendly guides on the Ask Ubuntu forums. The community is very friendly and the solutions are highly accessible and easy to follow. And even if you have a question that is not already answered, community members prove to be very helpful. The community is one of the biggest strengths of Ubuntu. OpenSUSE 2 has a huge and passionate community. But the wiki and the online guides were somewhat unhelpful to me at certain points. OpenSUSE is a distribution that is built with developers and IT professionals as the focus. It was made for the tech savvy people. Although it does not mean that it is not suitable for home use, I'd say Ubuntu is more suitable for home use. Even the community support point goes to Ubuntu. As a developer myself, I really like OpenSUSE. It provides a stable working environment with all the software I need. But as a desktop operating system, I was not 100% satisfied. But in its defense, it is made for computer professionals. There are aspects of OpenSUSE that I like better than those of Ubuntu. OpenSUSE can be better than Ubuntu at times and for some people. But as a complete package, Ubuntu is simply a better choice. So for today, the winner is Ubuntu 18.04. So go ahead and give them a try. The download link for both these distros is in the description of this video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and your comments are always welcome. Well that's it for today. If you like this video then do hit the red subscribe button. This is Linux Tech signing out.